Hello, everyone, and welcome to Around Town. And we are here with Terry Guerin, a.k.a. Rhino from WWE. Yes. Annex? NXT, yes. NXT. They're an NXT brand, yes. Wonderful. It's always wonderful to have you um, here at the studios, uh, Rhino. Well, happy to be here, as always. Great. Happy to see you again. You are a familiar so, face around yes, here. Yeah. Um, you do a lot of philanthropy work. You're a community activist, and you're always welcome here. Oh, well, thank um, you. And you are actually doing a wonderful uh, benefit. Yes, for uh, the church. For the at, Sebastian Church yes, here in Dearborn Heights. St. Sebastian Church. This is our third one. Um, and uh, second one for the year. And the last one we drew over 400 people, so we're excited. And uh, it goes to help out the church, and the church is very active in the community, so that's what we like to do. So, And I have a big, big match with uh, Vinny Scarboni. This oh, is our last match. number one opponent? Yeah, yeah, so he's beaten <laughs> me a few times. I've beaten him a few times, but uh, definitely it's a no-holds-barred match. We were gonna have it in a steel cage, but there was a problem with a cage and getting it in the building. We couldn't fit it in the cage, but all parties, or we couldn't fit the cage into the building. The doors were too small. And uh, I mean, you need a big cage to contain two animals. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, uh, Sounds yes. Sounds like fun, right? Yeah, guys? yeah. It's like Great. my every Friday night for me, a steel cage match. But uh, no, um, we figured on uh, having a no holds barred match. All parties agreed. And uh, so it'll definitely be uh, very interesting. I know he's putting people through tables and so have I. And uh, so you might see a table or two, or you might see some chairs. Something you to know. look forward to. But uh, <laughs> definitely it, 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 it won't get too crazy. So it's a, a kid, uh, a kid uh, family, yeah, yeah, kid friendly show and uh, family. You know, a lot of families turn out, so it's it's, it's a lot of fun. So. Great, great. So Saint Sebastian, this is a benefit for mm -hmm. the church, mm -hmm. and when will it be taking place? Uh, September sixteenth. Um, so right around the corner, and uh, doors open at seven. Starts at seven thirty. Is it actually at, at the church? Yeah, it's at the church in their gymnasium. If you want tickets, you can go to the parish office or call the parish office. So it, you can just Google Saint Sebastian Dearborn Heights, and all the information will pop up. And uh, yeah, it, it'll be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, it draws, and you know, and they have uh, their cafeteria open, and I, the the. I think they have hot dogs Food? and water. Hot dogs. Yeah. Bob, they got hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. So, if I'm not wrestling, I might be over there. I might take my match over there. And uh, yeah, so. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, you always do amazing stuff, and you're always doing something oh, you're for so others. Kind. So, you're so, so kind. we're just happy to have you here. And also, we are going to have a treat for you today. We have some uh, amazing wrestlers that are going to talk to you about the show itself. We have Ingrid Isley here, the Scarboni family. Yes. And John E. Bravo uh, yes. with a couple of others. So stay tuned for their information and some fun facts about uh, the show, right? Yes, for sure. All right. And I'm not going to do any clown tricks. Ah, yeah. <laughs> shucks. We'll see you in a minute. Hi, my name is Ingrid Isley, and I'm sitting here with Johnny Bravo. He's an upcoming star, featured star on the St. Sebastian Show. Um, you've had a great year this year. I've had an absolutely awesome year. Thanks yeah. for pointing that out. I've uh, had a lot of success with uh, people in the wrestling business, like Jeff Jarrett, noticing me and then inviting me over to GFW. And uh, I had a match with Rhino, which we'll talk about a little bit later, where I, I beat that. I beat him. And... Uh, and I, we, we're doing the St. Sebastian thing. It's a good cause, but you know, it's, 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 it's all business for me. So, and an opponent uh, by the name of Amazing Nate Manson, he, uh, he beat me fair and square, but I don't know. I, I think he cheated. Well, he, he beat you clean, and then he later on in a, another show went and won the Gary Warnchek challenge the commissioner well, you cup. say he beat me clean but you know nobody's clean in wrestling you got the good guys and you got the bad guys nate does a little cheating he pulls a little bit of the tights don't let him fool you his squeaky clean image fool you he did win the gary warncheck cup i'll give you that okay but next year i'm winning the gary warncheck cup i don't okay. care if nate's in it or not i'm taking him out okay well that's to be seen you can't just claim that you're going to get it. I mean, well, he may win it again. You don't even know. Listen, Toots, if you come to the show, <laughs> you'll see it. Trust me. Okay, well, do you believe the loss to Nate lit the fire under you so you could get noticed? Absolutely it did. You know, when, when you lose, it just strives you to be better. Uh, my, my opponent right after Amazing Nate happened to be Rhino, and I, I beat him fair and square. You, you threw powder in his eyes. Wait a minute. Okay. I threw powder in his eyes, so you call that cheating, right? Well, yeah, he couldn't see. But, okay, 
What you don't see backstage is Rhino, baby oils up. You ever see him come out to the ring? He's dripping wet. That's not all water. Well, he's not the only one that does you, that. You can't grab a 300-pound monster like Rhino when he's covered in baby oil. It's like trying to grab a, a greasy pig at a farm. You can't do it. So you're saying the only reason, only way you could beat him by just throwing powder No, advice. no, no, no. He cheats by not showing you what he does in the locker room. At least I'm honest with my dishonesty, and I threw the powder right in front of everybody to nullify all the grease on his body. And if you noticed, it all absorbed on him, and I pinned him one, two, three. So I just, I just neutralized his threat. Well, some say it was a tainted win. It doesn't really count because you did throw the powder in his eyes. Tainted win. Listen, Toots, I'm getting sick of you telling me about my tainted wins and my victories. Just a win is a win, and I got the pay window that day. That's all that matters. All right. Well, so coming off the Rhino match, now you're going against Malcolm Monroe the third. He's a third-generation superstar. He's high-flying. Do you have a game plan with him that could be clean, or do you still think it'd go the Rhino tactic? He, Here's my opinion on Malcolm III. Malcolm III is third generation. They're basically indie Michigan royalty, this Monroe family. The legacy started with sweet daddy Malcolm Monroe, carried on by the most dangerous man in Michigan, DBA. I have a lot of respect for DBA, but when I first met his son, his son was two years old. I, I was actually wrestling DBA on a show in Rockwood, Michigan. And I met this little two-year-old boy. If somebody would have told me 18 years later I'd be punching this little boy in the face, I'd have been like, get out of here. But you know what? Now that I know what's about to happen, I'm okay with it. He is a high flyer. And you're like, how am I going to nullify his high flying abilities? Well, I'm probably going to bust his kneecap open until I hit the red meat. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, you're facing him on September 16th at St. Sebastian. Yeah, and you know what? A lot of people have gone easy on him, in my opinion. You know, he's, he's the son of DBA. Ooh. But can't hurt DBA's son. He's never been tested, okay? He's never been in there with a guy like me. I'm going to hurt him. He needs to be hurt. He needs to be broke in. Okay. Well, that match is September 16th at St. Sebastian, and you can see him versus Malcolm Monroe III at 7 o'clock. It's at bell time, 7.30. Can I say something, one last thing? Sure. Malcolm III, if you're watching... I'm going to destroy you. And after this match, if you ever cross my path again, you may not make it out alive. I told you so. Hi, I'm Ingrid Isley, and I am back. I am now joined with Vinny Scarboni, Mr. Italy, Frankie the Arms, and they're managed by Truth Martini. He's a house of truth. He's full of tricks and planning. Ingrid Isleton, let's hold on right there. <laughs> The first thing I want to point out is somebody over there needs to go in that television studio and calibrate the ratings because it's going through the roof with the family on the show. You know what I'm talking about? We're talking about three guys right here that would put together the perfect body. Mr. Italy, Italy's finest fitness model. Look at the legs. Look at the stems on Mr. Italy, Ooh, huh? Yeah. So Probably, good. I see you're covering Ooh. up there. You must have known he was here. Bella. Yeah. And then if you head to the back, take a look at my man Frankie the Arms. Frankie, show her what you're working with there. Perfection in me. Do, do they call you Frank the Arms because of your arms, or do they call you because you strong arm people and you get involved in the matches? What does this tell you right there? That's I an answer your question. Right we didn't there. come down here to be accused of anything. Finishing out that perfect body, you're looking at handsome Vinny Scarboni, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. So that's the introduction that we should be doing uh, to take place here. But Truth Martini actually has no tricks up his sleeve. What he's doing, he would be here. But he's over there in negotiations with Gary Warren, Chuck, and the rest of these bozos that are running the St. Sebastian show to making th sure everything's in line. Well, the last St. Sebastian show, you defeated Rhino. That's right, one, two, but three. But your family helped you get the win to oh. defeat him. No, no, no. No, no, no. Well, what's no, family no, no, for? No. You see, Rhino, he's got a lot of friends. And we're out in Dearborn Heights, but a friend from Dearborn Heights, like, that's anything to brag about. But friends are one thing. Family is a whole different thing. You see, he's got those friends that they run around town, but they don't got a Lincoln with a big trunk like Frankie. Isn't that right, Frankie? Big guy, yes. big trunk, put the two together. You know what happens, right? You could fit an animal there, maybe huh? even a rhinoceros. It's you know what I'm talking about, Ingrid? Yeah. Uh, well, so now it's no longer a cage match. It was, but due to circumstances with the issue, the venue, now it's a no holds bar match. Is your family gonna play a part in the no holds bar? Well, you see, at first I was a little, uh, 
a little disappointed this isn't going to be a cage match. I even got a little worried. Is this going to play in my favor? But the more I think about it, we're talking about no holds barred. We're not talking about a cage match. You see, in a cage match, I could only ram Rhino's head right into the steel. But now I can take him out. I could put him in the crowd, I could hit him with a chair. I could slam him on the floor, I could take him out to outer drive and let Frankie put a smack down on him. You know what I'm talking about? No holds barred's nothing to worry about. The Scarboni family's getting another Mario. one on September yes. 16th. So you don't, you're saying they're not gonna help you at all then? Listen, all I'm saying is history is gonna repeat itself. Ingrid, I walked in there in June, I walked into Dearborn Heights, mano y mano. Frankie the Arms, you remember that night? I oh, remember that night. I walked in, I stared Rhino down. He's a superstar. WWE, NXT, he's been around the world. But that night, I pinned him down in his hometown. And September 16th, it's going to happen again. Must the well, Rhino's he's hungry. Also, Rhino's also beaten you a few times also. Mm. He's had See. your number as well, even, even with your family involved. So it's possible he could still defeat you. Like, do I come out here, Iselton, and talk about everything that's ever happened in your life before? I'm talking about recent history, not the far past. Oh. What? Ah, what? Today. Oh. What? Wake up, no? My Sorry. cousin, Mr. Sorry. Italy, he was a little jet lagged. You Sorry. have to excuse him. No, he see. said September see. 16th, he won't miss it for the world. He just flew over last night. Wake up. Get this guy some Ready. coffee or something. Ready. Call Intern. Get no. my man some coffee. Chop, 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 chop. That's how business is done. I got back from Sebastian's church. I talked to Gary Warncheck. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's going Shit. down. Shit. It's happening. Ingrid, Shit. be careful what you wish Shit. for, because it just Shit. might happen. Here he is, live in living color. Truth Martini. Have a seat, Truth. Of course, later on, you can bring on the lovely women to give me an introduction. But here, right now, this is family business. How's everybody doing? Everybody's doing good. Ingrid comes over here, acts a little arrogant with these questions. She said, uh, am I worried? It's not going to be the steel cage. It's going to be no holds barred. Like, that's even a problem. Problems. Ingrid, Ingrid, if that's your real name. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's my real name. No holds barred. <laughs> Steel cage in the match. The man beast, Rhino. I've known that man for a very, very long time. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to take anything away from him. He is a top-notch professional wrestler. But what he is not is a Vinny Scarboni. He'll never be a Vinny Scarboni. You have to remember, there are three types of wrestlers in this world. There are good wrestlers... There are great wrestlers, then there are special wrestlers. And this man exudes everything of what it takes to be a special wrestler. Please do not forget that. You people at home, do not forget that. And that this right here that is a legend in the making. You know, you write down on your little notebook, you ask your questions, you ask me if I'm upset, I'll tell you what I'm upset about. You see, I, out of the goodness of my heart, Truth Martini, the busy man he is, we head down to St. Sebastian Church. We're going, Frankie, Mr. Italy flew over. We're going down there out of our own good graces. And Gary Warrenchuk and these bozos all who are running this, they're giving out tickets for $5 to come on down and see Vinny Scarboni beat Please. Rhino again. That should be $50 Cinque. Cinque. to see it's that live in living color. Honest. It's priceless, to be honest. Let's be honest. Well, the five dollars does go towards Saint Sebastian's and has before. Listen, you got to kill, <laughs> stop with that bleeding heart, okay? <laughs> I'm down there for one reason. Put the man beast down, and Frankie, we're hopping in the Lincoln and we're going out to mm -hmm. celebrate. Well, so then I'll ask Truth then. So I've already asked you, are you going to get involved in no Harold's bar match? These questions, Be huh? I mean. I'm almost insulted by that. See, when you say involvement, there's a few different ways I can take that. Am I involved? I'm always involved because we're a family. We are a unit. We are a cohesive yeah. unit. Do we have involvement with each other every day? Will I be involved? I am him. He is me. We are one. That's something that people like you do not understand. So to answer your question, yes, of course I'm involved. But I think you were trying to ask me something else. Be a little more blunt. All right. Are you going to help him take the win? Because you guys got involved in the last match. I'm talking to a moron. <laughs> I'm talking to a moron. That's why they named him that. That's the truth, honey, isn't it? 
You see, September 16th is what you need to worry about. You don't need to worry about antagonizing a worldwide treasure like Truth Martini. You don't need to worry about those sideways glances. You're giving Frankie the arms back here, huh? It's Checking normal. out the buy and it's the normal. try. It's normal. It's and right. you don't need to worry about the jealousy with the stems on Mr. Italy. There's only one thing that you need to worry about, and there's only one thing that Rhino needs to worry about, and that's the four dudes standing right here. All right, well, Uno, September 16th, the Scarboni and Quattro, his family win. are facing Rhino. It's Vinny Scarboni versus Rhino and no holds barred. That's handsome Vinny Scarboni. Handsome Vinny Scarboni. On September 16th at St. Sebastian, bell time is 7.30. Hello, everyone. I am back, and I am with Truth Martini because I want to know who the real Truth Martini is. Who the real Truth Martini is? I, I do know that a few minutes ago, the family was out here, and uh, again, the adrenaline was going because you have to understand. Huge you have to understand, it's a killer instinct you're born with. We are warriors, and when warriors start thinking about their battle, and it's gonna be a cage match, that's just the way it goes. But you know what? For you, I'm going to tone it down. Wow, okay, how'd you do that? Okay, here we Magic. go, Magic Powers, I guess. So, you um, are a life coach. That's right, a life intervention expert, I bet actually. nobody, nobody, nobody would have, would have guessed that. Yeah, but I, I love it, I wanna know about you, your life coach experiences, and the book that you've written, yep, The Book the, of Truth. The Book of Truth. This right here is actually The Book of Truth, volume number two. Volume number one came out in 2009. And with The Book of Truth, everyday people walk around this world confused. What do I want to do with my life? What is life all about? Should I pursue my dream? Should I not? What are people going to think of? What I've collaborated in this book are true answers to life, to life in general. True answers. See, uh, I remember one time, it's actually a funny story, when I wrote the first book of truth, a uh, guy asked me, he wanted to buy it, he asked what the price was, and at the time, they're not for sale anymore because I've learned my lesson, but at the time, they were $99.99, $100. He goes, is that a little expensive for a book? And I looked at him and I said, you're not buying a book for $100. You are buying a man's life for $100. Everything I've learned in these past 40 years are in here. That's why this book, actually, I keep it with me everywhere I go because it is priceless. And it is not for anyone, just anyone to see. So uh, what kind of people would want to read that book uh, and would, would get the most benefit out actually, of that Actually, even people like you, everybody. It's for everybody. I mean, I usually don't do this, but would you like to take a sneak peek? Oh, inside, I'd love to see a inside. sneak peek. Actually, like uh, I said, it's not for everybody. <laughs> 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 no, actually, I think you're a little cute. I was just playing around. But on a serious note, it is not for everybody. I am a life intervention expert. I intervene in people's lives. I see people that have potential to be at the very top, but something stops them. And a lot of people don't realize what it is. That is where I intervene in their life. And I've become an expert at doing this, from doing this for so many years, hence the life intervention expert. Can you give us an example of, of, of what individual you would pursue in regards to having intervention or having them come to you or someone that would benefit from that book, who has benefited from that book. For sure, for instance, uh, let's take Vinny Scarboni, for example, right? And he was here earlier? Yeah, Vinny Scarboni. Uh, this man, he has actually, for the people that don't know, I'm actually his trainer, because I do actually have a wrestling, professional wrestling school, you know? People always think I'm such a bad guy. It's ridiculous. I don't know why they think Where would that. They come up I mean, with that? I, 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 I don't. I don't like, know why. Yeah. Because even sometimes I even give the guys a multiple choice on how they would like to get beat. 
I even give him a multiple choice. I say, how would you like it? An A, a punch to the face. A B, chop to the chest. A C, a knee to the gut. Or D, start from the B, start from the feet and do all the above. I mean, that's how nice I am. I even give guys a choice on how they would like their beatings. But Vinny Scarboni is a man that I've trained at the House of Truth Wrestling School. Uh, feel free to look it up. It's hotwrestlingschool.com. And the alumni that I have uh, there are second, are actually bar second to none because a lot of guys have went on and wrestled for all the top companies around the world. And I saw something in Vinny Scarboni. I saw something, but there was something holding him back. And what that is was doubt. Because t- in Rhino? today's world, no, I am talking about Vinny Scarboni. Right, what was holding him back? <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there. And I actually admire that in a small way. But to be honest, what Vinny... Be speechless. No, 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 no. I just like to speak deliberate. I want everybody okay. to understand what I'm saying. Everybody should hang on every word because I don't talk just to talk. There's a meaning behind everything I do. Vinny now has that special something. There is no more fear. Fear doesn't exist. Doubt does not exist in Vinny Scarboni's mind. He understands what I knew when I first saw him, that he is destined for greatness. He didn't know that before. Now his eyes are wide open. Once I intervened in his life, he has became a new man and anybody that joins the house of truth. That is why, and of course, numbers do not lie. So the history speaks for itself. Anybody who associates themselves with Truth Martini, they get to the very top of the industry. Sounds like a plan. Well, $99.99 for the book. Thank you so much for joining us here. It's been your pleasure. I never know what I'm going to do the day of, but this was such a pleasure to meet you and all the other wrestlers here on Around Town. So keep it in mind, June 16th, or excuse me, uh, September 16th at St. Sebastian at 6 o'clock. Yep. Bell starts at 7.30. Shut. Be there. Be there or be square. square. Have a great day.